record of 16 and one. That one loss is pro debut coming by way of seven uh, ex world champions. So he he has he hotel and casino here in beautiful Lake Tahoe, Nevada, where tonight event this evening is scheduled for 10 rounds in the featherweight division. 16 wins, only one defeat, 12 wins by knockout. Daryl Pinkney. One, Manuel Marquez. Dracula, he's at ring center, says ring the bell, and here we go. Round number one, strike. I guess if uh, Mark Waldrop says, he will face anybody. Helmet, I guess you could say, this afternoon. He has taken that helmet off. And that was the best punch of the uh, night, but one of the things that he's going to find for that, the uh, April 29th bout at the pond, a knockout. And I mean, into the uh, opponent, but also counter. He spot us. That came June 10th in Phoenix, and he just took record most misleading at 22, 21, and 2. But that's because he, we should also point out five fights. Protected has been uh, taken along easily. In the other case, it just said Marquez on the black trunks with the red trim. Daryl Pinckney. He's uh, the Jeff himself. Marquez has had much. The biggest problem is going to be is uh, Pinckney durable for uh, about a career. Beat some, lost to some, but he's fought the very best. Mar Pinkney won the NABFR, is fighting a very intelligent bout. What happened was practically what is happening to Pinkney. His career being a tree when he was 18 years old, Marquez, and it, uh, he fell out of it. They were going to be winning this fight. To them, it is still a test. Know who his doctor is? <laughs> yes, yeah, he's so obviously back to fight. Pinkney is, we expected, moving forward all the time, but it basically has been... He was able really to impose his will on Espadas. It was he who controlled the tempo eight rounds if you, of fighting. If you look at the last number, 6.0 average. A large a difference in the amount of rounds that these two have fought. Marquez, of course. It's a bit of a puffiness in the left side on uh, Pigney's. You know, it's interesting talking to Nacho yesterday about Marquez. It's also transmitted to his fighters. I think that he fight him with every style of boxer, every kind of boxer. So when he goes into a champion. Pigney a little bit off balance, stumbled back a couple of feet. Round three, stay with us here. It's fight night on KCAL. Big rally at the end. Jones. He doesn't have the distance. He's never been uh, Marcus. All right, here we go into round four now of this featherweight 10 rounder. You're looking at him against the big time puncher and Daryl Pinkney. He's showing he knows how to use. So far through the first three rounds, I've given uh, Marquez the edge in each. I thought the third round. Now Pinkney coming forward. Marquez fought his first eight bouts in Mexico. And the foreign boxing is flung very well. Not very high. <laughs> <laughs> in shop, the he trains and teaches every single guy. Like you, you can see, Marquez going to the body. Oh, boy, Dick anticipating that as we come to the end of round four. Marquez drawing the warning. Pushed it down a little bit, but it's a good solid punch too for Marquez, who's high as getting ready to fight in our main event a little bit later on. Juan Manuel Marquez, winner of 16 in a row. The uh, Mexican uh, commission, the doctor, they've really given it a uh, Pinkney a target at all. How you Pinkney trying to double up with the left hook first, and uh, Dracula, to me, appears to be... He's been effective with it. Not that's turning into... Destroying. Good left hook, and a double left hook, and down goes Pinkney. Okay, just standing there, and uh, Dracula will let him continue. Wow. Also, the speed in which he connected. Marquez. It also appeared that Pigney went back and uh, also cut his foot somewhere. So there's open. one. There's another one. Down goes the round six. Scheduled for ten featherweights. Let's see how Pinkney bouncing. In All three landing. 50 to 44. We'll work on penmanship uh, after the fight. But Junior Jones, he goes, well, that was just another. Just another day at the office. Right. That's how Pinkney was looking at it. Just another fight. <laughs> He's making his way over here, and Tom will be joining us more. Done so, uh, done so, so far. Marquez following up his fifth round knockdown. That's a given. I think he knew that. Marquez knew that. It's just a matter of power. And again, dominating this sixth is Juan Manuel Marquez. And now Pigney just stayed there. He wants to uh, trade blows. He said in the beginning of the fight, he has appeared somewhat frustrated. The majority of the fight using all angles and all parts of the ring. Frustrated Daryl Pinkney here tonight throughout the first six rounds of the bouts, and Tom Kelly has arrived. Has really dominated the action I've seen, and uh, very much in control. A fighter who stands in front of Marquez and doesn't really attempt to box. His game plan, 
it certainly has gone out the window. There's a left hand, and he knocks for that one opportunity all night. And now he start, tries to press whatever his way in one brief moment. Marquez is in for today that uh, uh, Nacho Beristain said we're going to find. This was boxing in this fight, utilizing it more as a chess. Marquez knocked him flat on the back of his lap, and now he's seeing its approval here as we've got the bell. Frame the round, Marquez answering back, but Pinkney willing to fight. Now this careless there, lunging with that right hand, and he got caught with a left. It was exactly what Pinkney wants from Marquez. Out they come for round number eight. Yes, indeed they did. <laughs> Pinkney in the black trunks and against Julian Wheeler. And that promises to be an exciting go. He said, you want a boxer, call somebody else. You want a fighter, <laughs> pick up the phone. And line by line record and standing out. TKO. Harold Warren, I mean, you name it. He's been in with everybody, hasn't he? Bill Affair in round number seven. I think Marquez just trying to go back. Got him nailed with a, a wild left hook. Round number eight now. It's scheduled for 10, remember. First time. It's suddenly gotten quiet here with just a handful of seconds remaining in round number eight. Two, and I'm sure he had Marquez winning round number. The first um, few rounds of this fight seem to have been in Marquez. Very fast, very rapidly, and in great shape. And I don't know, because for hitting uh, what uh, the referee considered below the belt punch. All left hooks, but Marquez was so concerned about coming back strong. Or two punches, but at least three punch combinations. Right hand lands from Pigney on counter. Oh, oh, big right hand by Marquez. And Come on, one punch knocked down a right hand. I, I, that Marquez did when he went out. Pigney is taking the offensive. In the last two rounds. Score the knockdown, and he's landed two subsequent right hands as well. Shoulders up. And there's the bell bringing us to the end of round. Over with him, but uh, while they're doing that. Left hand is blocked. It is a one-punch knockdown. The right hand is... Opens when he does stay on it. Daryl, 10th and final round, you're doing yourself proud. Shocking <laughs> take trunks. Leave it to Maromero. Do you have any clue on it? Stay all over this guy, and I think they realize it's a do-or-die effect. Down. You know, we have seen from Marquez now in a couple of fights. We saw in the Jolid shot, he has gotten up and controlled the fight after that. He's moving beautifully. He was behind on, but he didn't quit in that Come fight. Even 22-22, nice work. The left hand by Marquez. But finally do, finished the job. Good right hand by Marquez. And a nice left and a right. But Pinkney can't find Marquez now. And Marquez, and this one will be in the books. I guess now the outstanding uh, credentials and Marquez as the bell sounds cool and brisk and more than just a touch of uh, fall in the air Juan Manuel Marquez and clearly demonstrated his superiority in round 10 Ciencia muy buena porque siempre en alguna pelea hay que aceptar alguna caída ¿no? Fueron este tres ganchos que lo agarré con la con la mano izquierda traba mucho la derecha It was easy to hit it with the right Ahí lo prendí con